Hey Capricorn, this is Tantric Tarot, and this is your general love tarot reading for the month of March 2019. And it's no surprise for you Capricorn that finances and career are going to be integral in your love life this month. And as an earth sign, that's always something that's going to be um, pivotal for you in your love life because you do seek stability um, more so than the other elements and you're also such a hard worker that it just comes naturally to you because you are so goal oriented and that can actually trip you up in some instances when it comes to your love life because it can be difficult for capricorns to find a happy medium or a balance between their love life and their career because you can't really put a hundred percent into your career and then have another hundred percent going into your emotions um that's impossible so there does need to be a balance here. And it's interesting that I'm saying that because I did pull some extra clarifiers and you actually have two twos here. You have the two of wands and you have the two of pentacles. So you are balancing your work and career with love this month. And there is going to be decisions that you're going to have to make regarding this. And I feel like a lot of Capricorns, since we're speaking about finances right now, you are making some kind of major shifts within your career at this time. And you're at kind of a crossroads in your finances and career and that is going to tie into your love life this month because they do often go hand in hand um, i'm also picking up here in terms of your career and finances you're making uh, not only are you making very impactful decisions in that sector of your life but you're researching a lot um, and i'll get into that in a second here so capricorn for your overall energy you actually have the Hierophant. Now, this is symbolic of a commitment. This is symbolic of a relationship. It doesn't have to mean marriage uh, in a general reading, but this will be someone that you either want a commitment with or that you're thinking heavily about a relationship um, and someone that you perhaps wanted to actually get married to. And you do have sadness clarifying this. So for a lot of Capricorns, I feel like you actually really want a relationship at this time. Um, but you're feeling sad about it because you either don't have it currently, or for those of you who are in a relationship, you may be feeling a sense of disappointment within that relationship. And I'm saying that because you also have two fives here. You have the five of pentacles and then you have the five of cups, which is disappointment and worry. Now this is again, relating to your career because it's the five of pentacles, um, you actually have two fives here and then you have two sixes. So you are progressing in life on both levels, career and love. Um, and matter of fact, it says success and it says science. So that goes back to what I said about researching, especially if you are switching careers or if you do own your own business, you're going to be deep in the research field when it comes to trying to get your business to a higher level here and to gain more prosperity. You're going to be in your head trying to figure out ways to do this because you inherently know as a Capricorn that you cannot be happy in a relationship unless you're feeling stable. Um, that's impossible for you Capricorns. If you're not feeling stable financially, you will never be happy in a relationship. That's your, that's your foundation. That's your basis. That's your ground. Okay. Um, and you do have the nine of wands here and you have strength and you have communication coming through on top of this. Now, because this is right next to this commitment or this relationship here, um, and this is for singles too, you could definitely still be disappointed over um, a relationship, whether it's something that you've currently been dealing with or something that you've left, some kind of past energy here I'm sensing, especially because you are sad or disappointed about this. Um, and for some of you, I'm sensing that there may even have been an actual marriage where you did have to consider leaving it. Um, and it did take a lot of strength for you to leave this situation. It's a nine. Um, you are coming to the end of this. And if you are depressed or upset about any kind of relationship, whether it is current or in your past, you're also letting this go because it is a nine. You're coming to the end of the cycle. Eventually, it's going to happen very soon because... The tens are the closure and the nine is leading up to the closure, okay? But again, you do have communication on top of your nine of wands, um, which again is strength. And I feel like Capricorn, you are protecting your heart. You're protecting yourself at this time. 
I feel like for some Capricorns, you may be receiving communication where you do have to protect yourself emotionally because this communication coming in here may in fact make you feel quite sad. And in a general reading, I'm not saying that to make anybody fearful. Um, a matter of fact, I did mention this to other signs as a PSA. If you are in a happy marriage, if you are in a happy relationship, you really should not be watching general readings because you will more than likely hear something that you don't want to hear. And it may not be for you. It may be for somebody else that actually needs to hear that. Okay. And that's why I often recommend getting personal readings anyway. Um, but anyways, so again, you have, com you have communication coming through and you do require strength. I do feel like for some Capricorns, you have been dealing with immature people. Also, um, you do have a lot of air energy around you. So you could very well be dealing with an air sign that is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. In your energy, you have the Princess of Swords and you have the Knight of Swords and you have Lover on top of this. Um, and matter of fact, you do have the Prince of Swords here. You have Happiness and then you have Judge. I feel like Capricorn, you're going to have to really be logical with how this person's either coming through to you or how you're communicating to this person. Because again, back to the nine of wands here with strength, and then you have judge here. You're going to have to really protect your heart this month, especially if you are dealing with people that are coming through as either cold emotionally or just plain immature. Um, and for your timeline here, Capricorn, you actually have the Empress and you have love on top of this. Now, this is going to be different for each of you. So for some Capricorns, you are taking on the Empress energy and you're putting the love back on yourself. For others of you, you may have been dealing with the Empress energy in a love situation. And right next to this, you have worry or you have the five of pentacles and then you have the five of cups here. Clarifying this, you have desire and then you have anger. So there's definitely frustrations regarding a disappointment in love here. Um, and again, it's two fives, and fives symbolize conflict and frustration. So that does make a lot of sense here. I'm also sensing Capricorns, you're looking back. You keep looking back. So try not to look back in your past, whether it is a commitment that you feel you've lost out on, and you feel like you've had to emotionally barricade yourself away with regards to a certain... Um, certain communication coming towards you, okay? You feel like you literally have to put up your walls um, in order to avoid a disappointment or in order to avoid this sense of worry. Now, in terms of finances, I feel like there is um, changes that you're making in regards to that, like I said, because you are in some senses worried here about not having enough financially in a relationship and you're desiring that stability. That's very clear here. Um... And again, that would make a lot of sense if you are taking on the Empress energy. You want to be abundant because, again, you know that's where love is going to eventually come from. Um, but there's definitely a strong disappointment here. And I feel like, again, back to the Nine of Wands, it's, it's, it's a wand energy and it requires strength with regards to this communication. And it's giving me the vibe of conflict here. So I feel like you were dealing with someone who is either cold, immature, or, or giving you conflict and you're not wanting to have anything to do with this Capricorn because you're so focused on your goals this month. Um, and again, try not to look back. Try not to look back at things that have already passed. Um, there is really no need to regret anything because everything is a lesson and you will always carry that in your heart. So in that sense, you should not regret that. Um, it, it grows you, you know, and as an earth sign, you know that. So you, again, you have the six of pentacles here and then the six of swords. So you are moving forward with regards to your finances and your career. Um, and this is going to make you extremely happy because you are going to have success in this area towards the end of the month. And I feel like your finances are definitely improving here. Like I said, you're starting off kind of worried here with your finances and your stability and perhaps even in regards to a relationship that, you know, the stability within a relationship. But towards the end of the month here, you are going to have more success. You are going to be researching, like I said, this in this deck, this card says science. So that's why it gives me the researching vibe. And also because you have so many um, sword energy players here, 
you are going to be very logical and I feel like you're not going to allow your emotions to really override you this month. And that is another good thing about being an earth sign is you don't often get lost in your own emotional oceans, so to speak. And by the way, I love Capricorns. Half my natal chart is Capricorn, so I really love you guys. You guys are the most hardworking and the most, um, well, I wouldn't say the most intelligent, but you're extremely intelligent. Um, and again, towards the end of the month here with the Six of Swords, mentally you are moving on and you do have money on top of this. So money's across your spread altogether, Capricorn. This is going to really make you very happy because, again, you are experiencing success in that department of your life. And, okay, in your energy, you have the Knight of Swords, and you have the Princess of Swords, and you have money on top of you again. So you are taking on an error-like quality this month, very illogical, again, um, perhaps even needing to detach yourself emotionally in some respects if you are disappointed and frustrated over love because it is making you quite worried here. Um, and, and sad at the same time. And you know you have so much to give as the Empress energy with love right on top of you. But I feel like you need to really put up those boundaries if anyone's not giving you the commitment that you so deserve um, because you know how much you have to offer someone. And in your energy, again, with the Knight of Swords and Lover, I feel like someone's going to be coming in here very fast. And they want to communicate with you with the letter on top of your strength here. For some of you, this is going to be a whole new person. And you've, okay, so you may be dealing with some residual emotions here with the two fives. And you do have a knight coming in here that does want to offer you love. This is in your energy. And I feel like this is an external energy because, again, you are showing up also as a princess of swords right next to this. So you're very focused on your money. But then you have the knight coming in here with love right on top of this. And for some of you, there may in fact be travel, traveling towards the end of the month here with the six of swords. That is always my travel indicator. But again, you have money all over you. Um... For some of you, and I was picking up on this when I was meditating over your spread before I turned on the camera... Some of you are involved in a workplace romance, but I feel like that's quite burdensome at this time. And I feel like there may be some disappointments in that situation because it's so challenging at this time. Okay. Um, and I did pull some romance angel cards for you, Capricorn. You do have pay attention to the red flags and you have the ten of wands. If anyone is trying to make you take the brunt of the weight in a situation, whether you're in a relationship or whether you are single, you need to pay attention to the red flags in that situation. And again, I'm picking up on some kind of a workplace romance for some of you. It's not going to be for all of you. Um, but this is, again, very burdensome. The Ten of Wands, I'm just getting a workplace vibe from this. And for some of you, you may in fact be burdened at work and that's why you need to make a change here with your two of pentacles and your two of wands and i feel like you're going to make this choice extremely fast with the prince of swords because you're going to be getting that clarity and you know your happiness lies in a change in your career uh, but again if you are meeting anybody new for the singles out there spirit is saying to pay attention to any red flags that you see because I feel like you're carrying the brunt of a situation here, Capricorn. And with Capricorn energy, people tend to put things on your shoulders because you are so strong. Which isn't necessarily fair, but it, it's just kind of inherent in who you are. So you also have love yourself first. And you have the page of swords reversed, which is not the best energy. Um, again, it's another sword energy. So a lot of air signs are around you. If they're not an air sign, they will behave like an air sign this month. Um, with the page of swords reversed, I'm just getting an Im immature vibe from this. And spirit is saying to love yourself first. So if anyone is acting this way towards you, spirit is saying to put yourself first in that situation. You also have let go of control issues and you have the death here. So back to your two fives here. 
if there was an ending or if there is going to be some kind of ending emotionally this month, Spirit is saying to not hold tightly on to that because there is a transformation that you're going through at this time and with death there's a need to let go emotionally in order to experience that transformation. So instead of clinging on to something, it's going to feel so much better to relax, relax and let it go. And I feel like that's where there's going to be a major shift in your perception this month in love. You also have, you deserve love, and that's perfect, because you also had uh, love yourself first, and you have the Ace of Swords, another sword energy here. Some of you are really needing to cut something out, because you have so many sword cards here, and with the Ace of Swords, again, we're back to that clarity. Um, I said something about perception shift. You're going to get an Ace this month in that, and this is giving me another career vibe, and this goes hand in hand with your love life. Um, but spirit is saying that you do, in fact, deserve love. So if you are experiencing disappointment from a previous commitment or if you are in a commitment, spirit is saying you just have to see the truth in that you deserve what you deserve. You deserve what you're giving out as the empress. You have so much to give. So not only do you deserve you know, the perfect partner for you, but you also deserve your own love and giving that to yourself and rem remembering that on a daily basis. And that is the Ace of Swords. It's that sharp, sharp clarity. And I'm also seeing here, she's actually um, tying him up. So there's definitely an issue here with letting go back to control, right? Um, and this can be vice versa. So someone may feel like you are controlling them in some way emotionally, or for the majority of you, I'm sensing that you're feeling that you're being emotionally tied up by someone. And spirit is saying here to cut the cord. And there's actually um, a nail being driven into this, this little heart push cushion here. Um, and there's another sword and there's scissors and there's a rope. Yeah, it's saying the same thing, Capricorn. You really need to disconnect from what is no longer serving you so that you can move forward. And again, that, that makes a lot of sense since you are taking on such an air-like quality this month. So that's what I'm seeing for you, Capricorn, for the month of March. And I love you guys so much. And if you would like to get a personal reading with me, you always can. And I will talk to you guys next month. Bye-bye.